is it going guys? Today we're going to be replacing that front splitter uh, that was destroyed in my last video where I was testing out the uh, Valvetronic exhaust. But as you guys can see, granted the lip already has some damage to it from prior drives, but if you can see up close on video, it is absolutely cracked through here. I wonder if I can get a good angle on it so you can see. There we go. It is cracked all throughout here. This whole bottom is completely destroyed. I don't know if you can see this, but it's hanging on by threads. It's super flimsy now too because the bottom has separated. You can see here too. Look at that. Wow, man, it looks. See, if you look here, you can see everything is separated. It doesn't look very good. See, it's flimsy, weak, looks like ass. The 3M is hanging. Look at that. Ugh. And I love this too, but also I wanted to replace it because of the fact that Although it looks great, it hangs way too low. And with it hanging this low, I live out in the country. This thing has been getting destroyed from the beginning. I even have the nice little uh, bumper covers you put on the bottom that prevent it from getting damaged. And it only goes so far. But all that's destroyed. That left side is hanging. It's hanging on by zip ties. Uh, but the good news is, boom, we have got the, I believe it's the GTS front lip. Uh, and I'll update and I'll put it in the video somewhere if, if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's the GTS style lip uh, Which is put on the front here. It doesn't it's still really aggressive too But it's not as aggressive as this one this one hangs super low and these little pivots you see on the end there on both these corners always get destroyed But we're gonna get this new one slapped on here get the video started and show you guys what it looks like Versus this style. I can't remember the name, but I'll put it in the title as well versus the uh, GTS one now before we slap any of this on, I wanted you guys to see how good this thing looks. Ugh. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. <laughs> no, but seriously, this looks really good. Uh, when I ordered it, I thought it was going to be full carbon, which it is, but it looks like it's FRP as well. So it looks like they did it on the bottom, which honestly, I'm not mad at. Uh, because these get destroyed so often and this looks like it hold up a little bit better so everything on the top sides it looks like the whole thing is carbon and it looks like the bottom is FRP just for for durability so but guys this front lip has been through so much uh, once I take it off and flip it upside down you guys are gonna freak out how bad they get destroyed and that's with the uh, bumper covers that I'm gonna show you which I highly or the splitter covers uh, that I highly recommend getting on any carbon fiber, even if it's not carbon fiber, some type of lip you get, it's nice to have them because it does help with all the protection underneath. But um, I'll get started removing, I believe, the seven millimeter bolts under there in this front portion here because it is hanging on by literally five screws. As you can see, I'm not kidding, look at this. This is hanging on from just the center screws and nothing else. That is crazy. And you know, no one ever said lowered life was easy, but man, it, is, it ain't easy. Um, now that I look back into this, I wish, or at some point, you know, I'll probably do it. I'll go to adjustable coilover so I could raise this maybe half an inch, and it would probably help a lot, but it's hard, man. It gets real hard driving around and having to, you know, be cautious of everywhere you go. I'm not, a, I'm not a huge fan of it, but for the looks you get out of it, you know, I don't think I'd go back. One, two, three bolts, four bolts. I think this is it. And on this one, this one was full carbon. This one was full carbon all the way through, so everything was carbon on here. But look at that. It is gone. It is pretty much gone. And you can see the covers did a good job, the ones that, you know, weren't getting absolutely destroyed. But see, this is what I was talking about. Everything on the side, it doesn't matter what you have, was getting absolutely destroyed. Oh, okay. even the bottom here, I don't even know how that would have gotten hit. Oh, what a bummer. But, you know what? I learned my lesson, so no more buying expensive uh, front carbon fiber lips unless you've got the money to, you know, waste on that kind of stuff over and over. I most surely don't, but this one was great. This was absolutely great for what I needed for and it's done good for the time being, but I won't be getting this kind of again. <laughs> and you know what's funny? Looking at how the car looks without it right now, it looks so funky without the front. You know what, let me take that back. Maybe not funky, but without a front lip, 
the car is nowhere near as aggressive as it is. So I, now that I've had one on a car and I see tons of them without it, you gotta have a front lip. It just, it just doesn't do the car justice without it. Now a little sucky part you're gonna have to do is you are going to have to dremel and or cut uh, the under, I guess you could say like air guard or bumper guard, whatever it is, but it goes directly under this sides and this sides uh, bumper area. And you have those really big weird flat protrusions that come off of uh, off of this side specifically. That It's that big piece that hangs off of this. Uh, but you're gonna have to dremel essentially from right here. So I did all the way from start on this side to kind of right all the way through here. But once you do that, that's the only way you're gonna get the CS um, splitter to fit is you do have to cut this out, which is fine because I thought those little rubber guard things looked ugly under the car. Granted, you couldn't see it with my splitter before, but when it's off, I mean, it's, it's very noticeable. But you take that off and then you're able to reinstall these back and get the uh, splitter on. So let's uh, keep moving forward and see the final result. Use the uh, ratchet setup for keeping this mounted. I couldn't find my other jack to get it all done, but uh, everything's been mounted up, cut, preset. So now it's time to just go ahead. The difficult part, or not the difficult part, I'd say probably the easiest part, but probably the most painstaking part because once it starts sticking, everything can go to hell very quickly if you if you do it wrong. But if you guys haven't done this before, I, in my personal experience, I found the best way is to peel some of the uh, 3M up and curve it out. So once it's getting flat, you can pull it and easily have it all done from there. Now these sets are right here might be a little bit crazier. You guys don't have to necessarily do that. I just like these to stay on here for a while so I don't want them to come up. And oh yes, I did uh, go ahead and clear bra all of this uh, and it came out really good at first. I don't do this often, I just figured I'd give it a, a go. And I pulled up one part earlier and forgot to put it flat so now I'm starting to peel. So I'm probably just gonna cut from here through here just to keep it good. This is gonna be the side that gets beat up anyway since this sits flat. But yeah, same thing here, go here all the way over same thing have my tabs pulled back so once i get this on i can just pull and have it ready to go so all right so we're gonna go ahead and get this mounted up make sure all my tabs are sticking out Whoops. that one's not that one's not that one is and guys i already pre-drilled so i have my whole set so all I gotta do is pretty much line this up and get it going. Ah, nice. There we go. Nice and solid. And we got new bolts because of course we're gonna screw in the front too because it, it's gotta go in. We got this on guys. This is looking so much nicer. I'm not gonna lie. I do like this one quite a bit more than the other and I do like the open air duct in the center there if you can kind of see it. Uh, I still hate putting on splitters. It's probably my least favorite part of any mod I've done on this car is putting on splitters. It, it's just, I don't know. And fitment on this one is probably, I got it from the, what is it, uh, Extreme Online Store or something like that. And most of the parts I've got from them have been like great fitment. The first one was awesome fitment. This one, the first one was like a, probably like a 9 out of half or a 9.5 out of 10. This one's probably, I'm going to say like, like an 8.5 out of 10. Everything up front fits really, really nicely. And everything through here fits sort right and this is kind of where the hard part is on a lot of stuff unless it's oem this one fits pretty good but it's not like i like to have stuff extremely flush and this isn't there and i was gonna order from horizon motorsports but a few friends i've ordered from theirs there seem to fit pretty much the same and i know pretty much these all come from the same factory in china that everybody's getting them from uh but you know sometimes it's hit and miss sometimes you get ones that fit absolutely perfect and sometimes you get ones that fit terrible and sometimes you get ones that fit like this that are pretty good not noticeable but if you can see what i mean which a lot of people won't show you fitment here is like you see it's a little short and like it's not going to be noticeable i notice it especially how low it is on the ground but like that's like a half an inch of not clearing and i kind of hate that but it is what it is for now and it's the same if you guys are curious on the other side it's about like half an inch so it's not like anything drastic but i mean it is a little short but now we've just got to put on the little uh i have no idea what you call them but we'll just call the little caps i guess 
and uh, we're good. I, I might as well have redone those. I've decided to just take them off and redo them since I'm putting a new one on. So, I'm sure you can see through here where see if you pull the tape up beforehand you can easily fit these on so you pull the tape up a little bit it doesn't it's not enough for it to stick and then you have it hanging out so then once you get it secured and centered exactly where you want it pull that bad boy off and bam you got it pretty much set up so you guys know i'm not full of shit when i say that as you can see i just did the same thing i showed on video and look better fitment than i had on there the first time everything's nice tight secured exactly where I wanted it to be. Woo -wee! When I tell you I love the way this looks right now, this definitely looks better than what I had before. I, I don't know. It looked great before, but I think it looks even better now. Man, that is what I am talking about. Was it worth the blood, sweat, and tears that I had to put in to do it? Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, but man, it, sometimes you get tired of doing this kind of stuff, and even when you've got a shaded area, it's still a lot of work. But, uh, Let's get this lower so you can see exactly how this thing sits. Hope I don't drop it too hard like I always do. Ah, dang it. Let's see. Let's do it the safe way. I'll just. Oh, damn. Look at that. Does that look good? Look at that. Oh, my gosh. That angle. Ugh. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Last time I dropped it so hard, I thought I heard something snap. Ugh, that fitment though, sheesh. There's like, you can't fit anything in there unless you go at an angle. Giggity. Yeah. And you know what's crazy, guys? It sits a lot higher. So it, it's probably hard to see on camera, but the other splitter set so much lower. It, even coming into my garage, if I went down too, too uh, fast, and that's literally at maybe two miles an hour. If I came out too fast or came in too fast, you would hear it drag against that front step. But this, I've got literally this much clearance. Now that, it doesn't take away from the aggressiveness and how good it looks, but again, it does still look very good and it does leave a lot of area. So my risk in being scared of uh, scraping kind of goes to almost zero. Well, you know how they say, your, your chances of uh, scraping when you're lowered are very high, but with this, I'm gonna say they are low, but never zero. But uh, I wanna thank you guys for tuning in again. I've got a really, really good video coming up soon and uh, a new car coming to the channel that I've been wanting to do for a while. So uh, buckle up, get ready, because that is gonna be my first project car I've ever had. And we are going to do this one very, very slow. So I'm, I have a whole lot of plans for it. Uh, completely all Alcantara interior headliner. I'm gonna be doing it myself uh, because again, for a project car, I wanna see how far I can take myself and do everything on my own. So that means rather that be any type of engine modifications. And when I say engine modifications, I mean opening the motor, uh, any type of body work, any type of interior work, besides, even carbon fiber. I've been dabbling with it a little bit, but even a little bit of carbon fiber I'm gonna do here and there. So probably on the center console, I'm gonna do that entire piece in carbon fiber myself. And of course, you guys will be able to watch and tag along and see exactly uh, what it's gonna turn out and look like. But thanks for tuning in again. Like and subscribe and uh, take care.